Okay, I'm gonna do one more little thing in App Designer. So like, I don't know, let's just say you want to make like a, I don't know, a game, a video game creation, character creation or something like that. So like, you're gonna put in like, I don't know, we'll just say name and age of the character just to keep it simple. And a little button, button, okay. So this will be your name. And this will be your age. And this also gives us a little bit of a chance to kind of play around with um, some of the other little features I have been meaning to mention and keep forgetting. If you right click and you ask it to apply a grid layout, see, it gives you an idea of um, kind of where things line up, which is kind of neat. So you can move things around however you like and uh, and kind of see what happens. So anyway, I kind of wanted to show that to you. And if you don't like it, you can always remove the grid layout, um, but you can definitely play with it and it kind of auto lines. So that's kind of nice. Burderps, center, there we go. So it's kind of centered under there. Maybe I want it centered under the whole thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing. Anyway, so uh, one of the things I also really haven't mentioned, I don't think is data validation. You've got all kinds of options over here. So like your age, let's just pretend you can't be under the age of zero to play this video game, but of course you can be infinitely um, old and we can round fractional values because it really doesn't matter if you're 10,832 and a half. Um, you know, you can just say how old you actually are. So I'm gonna save this as character generator. Okay. And so, um, like if I just run it, obviously nothing's going to happen. Um, I'm going to click this, I'm going to say save and close. So, um, I don't know why I'm obsessing over making this a good size, but I just want it to be pretty. Um, okay. So essentially what we want to happen is whenever we close the app, um, we want to add something. So what we want to do is it's called sign in and see if I start to type it, it finishes up. So if I go assign in and um, in the workspace, I'm going to call it the base workspace. So wherever I've called this from, I want to create a variable called um, character name, character name. And in that I want to, I can't remember if this is supposed to be in quotes or not. Actually, I think my variable name is supposed to be in quotes. So I'm going to create a variable called character name, and it's going to be the name edit field. So app.nameeditField.value. And I think that's what I want to do. And then I want to do the same thing, except I'm going to do character age, and it's going to be age edit field age edit field dot value okay so and then to close it i'm going to delete or app dot delete yes okay so that's going to just close the app so what i think is going to happen is if i come over here and um i run character generator I put in my name and I put in my age, save and close. And look over here is my character name and age. So I can be like, like basically the idea is I could make a bunch of like little apps to collect data and to share it between the two. Um, but it's pretty awesome. So now this information is stored. So I can be like display, um, hello, person name, character, name, you know, you are num2 string character age. Welcome to my game. Okay, so we could do that. And, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'll just run it from here. Oh, no, why are you mad at me? Oh, wow. Okay, so it's trying to run this right away. So I've got to specifically tell it to wait until it's done. Oh, uh, well, okay, I gotta go figure that out. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Basically, uh, we need to tell it to specifically wait for it and surprisingly, it's super easy. So I'm just gonna call this good to know 
No, so this is a handle. So if I just run this, it's still not gonna work. But you're gonna see now it says, here's character generator with all of these properties. Um, although to be fair, I wonder if I could just pull the properties from there. Well, I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm happy and I'm gonna leave it this way. Um, so I can say, good to know, character generator. And then what I can tell it to do is if it's valid, if this good to know object is valid, that means it's if it's still open, we can wait for good to know. And then it won't do anything until we're ready. Look at that, I figured it out. I'm kind of a genius at Googling stuff. And now it works. So it's pretty cool. Now here, I'm just kind of curious. Good to know dot, let's see, because it's a character thing. I'm just wondering if I could get all this name dot, name of it field. No, because it's already been deleted. It's been closed, so I can't get that anymore. Um, although I could probably get it in here, but I'm just going to leave it and not worry about it. So, yay, we got it to work. I can run this, and it'll pull it up, and I can typey, 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 and I can typey, 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 and it'll run, and it'll wait for it to be over. Oh, my goodness. This is, like, the best day ever. Okay, so I hope this gives you some ideas or things that you can do to play with um, just to kind of pass information around character gen uh, around character generators around app designer because you could do some stuff with GUIs back in the old system with guide that you can't necessarily do anymore but this probably works better so um, it's pretty neat I hope you like it oh wait 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 I totally forgot I was going to show you not only how to take inputs or outputs from the files, but to put you into new ones. So let's try this one more time. I'm gonna CLC clear this, this is clear. Okay, okay, okay. So um, what if instead of just displaying this here to our command window, we wanted to make another um, app designer thingy. So I'm gonna go to app designer, I'm gonna make a new one, and it's just gonna have a label on it that's gonna say like, welcome to the game. You know, that could just be my welcome screen, just a splash welcome screen or something. Um, so essentially what I want to do is I want to go to, um, let me save it as welcome screen. Okay. Okay. This will be worth it. I swear. <laughs> I mean, maybe not, but you never know. So I'm going to add a startup function. So I haven't really spent much time looking at all these up here yet, but I noticed there's this button called app input arguments. And I noticed it because I Googled it and found it that way. <laughs> because I never would have found it otherwise. So you can just add an input to this. So you can call it like text to display or something like that. So that would be an input now that you see when the startup function is text to display. So I could be like, I want this label, app.label.text to be text to display. Come on, there we go, okay. So now what I think I can do is over here, instead of displaying this, I can call this, you know, whatever. Um, I really don't need those around it. Um, but then I can say, um, welcome screen, whatever. And that's the new input. And then whenever I run this, it's going to be like, what's your name and what's your age? And then it's going to say, look at that I did it. Okay, so now I can send input from or outputs from one app into the next one. So now like I literally there's like basically no limitations on what I can accomplish in life. So this is this is kind of amazing. So I hope, now I hope this was helpful and that you have fun with it.